First of all, I opened Blender, and I will delete everything by default because I need to do motion tracking. Then I will click on the plus sign and choose motion tracking from the VFX section. Then I need to click on open and open the video from its location that I want to use. Now the video has been opened. First, I will click on set scene frames so that the timeline selects the exact number of seconds as the length of the video, and then I will click on prefetch to refresh the video. After that, I will click on Detect Features, and yellow colored trackers will be added to the video. I will need to add some custom trackers myself. I need to add the tracker in a place that is different from the surrounding area, so the tracking can be easier. When I press Ctrl and right-click, the tracker will be added. And I will add more trackers in the area where I need to add a 3D model. Once I have added enough trackers, I will select them and click on the Track Forward button in the Motion Tracking panel to start tracking. Once the tracking is complete, I will delete the lines that are not straight, as they haven't been tracked properly. After that, I will delete the trackers that are red because they haven't been tracked. Once all the useless trackers are deleted, I will play the video and check. You can see that the remaining tracking is perfect, and all the trackers are in their correct positions. After that, I will click on Solve, then click on Keyframe, Focal Length, and Optical Center, and finally click on Solve Motion Tracking. After a few seconds of loading, our motion tracking will be complete, and the tracking percentage will appear at the top, indicating how accurate the tracking is. After that, I need to click on Setup Background and Setup Tracking Scene within the Scene Setup. After that, I can see in Blender's viewport that a camera has been added and the tracking is final. After that, I need to select three trackers so that I can add the floor. However, to keep the floor straight, I will need to select different trackers and check them. Okay, these trackers seem fine. After that, I need to select two of them and scale them. Then, I need to click on Layout, select the camera, and set it as the active camera so I can view the tracking scene. After that, I will click on Overlays and Enable Motion Tracking, which will make all the trackers appear. I can then select any tracker. After that, I need to click on Images as Planes under the Mesh menu and open the picture that we want to use in the scene. First, I need to switch to Material Mode and adjust the plane to the correct position. After adjusting the plane, I will play the video, and we can see that the plane is in the correct position and not moving at all. Finally, when I switch to Render Mode, you will see that only the trackers are visible, but the footage is not. To make it appear, we need to enable Transparent under the Film Settings. Finally, I will add a sun to make the lighting equal on both the real footage and the plane we added later, so it looks more realistic. After that, I will play the video and check it. Finally, I will adjust the Render Settings, where we first need to choose the location where we want to render. After that, I will choose the format I want. For example, if I need PNG, I will keep it as PNG. After that, I will choose the render engine as Cycles, and finally, I will click on Render Animation to start the rendering process. I hope you will like this video.